for sale by owners. Are you prepared for this? If so, what would you do differently if you were in her shoes? I had an interesting conversation I wanted to share with you. Spoke to this for sale by owner. Now her house was already in escrow, good news. But she told me the ordeal that she was dealing with now. Let's talk about her story. Now she, over her lifetime, she sold about three other houses. So she felt pretty confident that she could sell the house on her own. What she decided to do is she decided to hire a real estate agent. However, this company, what they do is they provide a flat fee service. The reason why she decided to do that is so she can have her house on the MLS. Now, when you put a house on the MLS as agents, one of the stipulations from the MLS is that we have to offer compensation to the other agent, to the buyer's agent. So she was willing to pay 2% commission to the buyer's agent. So she's gonna pay that. She paid the service, the flat fee service, which I didn't ask her how much she paid for that service with this particular company, but in most cases, it's roughly 500 bucks and up. And like I mentioned before, she was able to get her house into escrow. She found an agent, or excuse me, an agent found her on the MLS. She showed the property and submitted an offer. Now, in order to schedule the appointment, they had to call the seller. When an offer came in, it went directly to the buy, to the seller, meaning this flat fee service is literally that. A flat fee service to put the property on the MLS for her. That's it. Literally, they will do nothing else to help her. When the offer came in, they're looking at roughly about 20 pages, offer and disclosures, initial disclosures. Right away, the seller started to feel overwhelmed. The buyer's agent was clearly inexperienced because she had an opportunity and uh, didn't, didn't capitalize because once the seller uh, felt overwhelmed, she started asking, well, can you help me with this? And the selling agent or the buyer's agent said, no, we cannot. I'm assuming that they said that because she did hire technically a real estate company to represent her. However, it's a limited scope. There you have it. That's probably the reason why the selling agent didn't help. But what the selling agent did do is provide, in addition to the purchase contract, which again, the seller is already feeling overwhelmed. A whole bunch of disclosures came. We're in California, and I don't know about your state, but California is very litigious. Obviously, we have several disclosures that we have to provide in order to properly disclose everything about the house and what they can about the sale of the property. At which point, the, se the seller puts the entire transaction on hold because Although she had previous experience on selling properties, this was too much for her. What does she do? She hires a real estate attorney. Now, if you think about it, the seller is paying a commission to the buyer. The seller paid a flat fee to the real estate company that provided the MLS access. And on top of all that, the seller's now paying a real estate attorney. There you have it. This seller, if her objective to sell for sale by owner was to save money. She actually wound up spending, more than likely wound up spending more money. Having to pay a experienced real estate attorney versus an experienced agent, which by the way, real estate attorneys are more than capable of selling a bunny, which by the way, real estate attorneys are more than capable of assisting buyers and sellers. But in California, they're not the go-to for these type of transactions. Real estate attorneys are usually the go-to whenever these type of transactions fail or uh, whenever there's a lawsuit involved and so on and so forth. But that's beside the point. The point is, is that as a for sale by owner, as this particular for sale by owner, again, if her objective was to save money, more than likely she wound up spending more money because not only did she have to pay the buyer's agent, a real estate attorney. But in addition to that, she had to pay this other real estate company a flat fee service for MLS access. Probability is she wound up spending more money than she wanted to. And as a reminder, this is a seller who's 
originally felt that the two, three houses that she sold in the past was sufficient experience to be able to sell this house as well. She did get her house sold in escrow right now. With any luck, it does close. But I think we could safely say that it wasn't a for sale by owner. If there was a buyer's agent involved, a real estate agency that gave her MLS access and a real estate attorney. If you're for sale by owner or you're considering that and you want to save some money, what are you going to do differently? Are you going to be able to get access to the approved real estate documents, all the disclosures that are required, all the reports that are required, the correct offer? Are you going to be able to get this deal comfortably closed and be able to walk away from it knowing that you don't have legal exposure or at the very least minimizing that legal exposure exposure something to consider have a good one here's an update i talked to the for sale by owner again and now she's telling me that not only is she going to have to pay the selling agent not only is she going to have to pay the real estate company that helped her put the property on the mls flat fee no representation no help not only is she going to have to pay the real estate attorney, but now she tells me she's probably going to have to pay an independent agent or transaction coordinator to provide her with the disclosures necessary to be able to close the transaction. She also said that, man, if she had known, she would have just hired an agent to represent her. Again, her goal was practical her thought was practical i've sold a few houses in the past i could probably sell this one on my own i don't really need to hire an agent and i'll save the commission doesn't look like she's saving anything if anything she may wind up paying more i didn't want to dig the dagger and twist it by asking her how much she's paying with everything that she's with everything i just discussed how much was the total but i'm sure that she could have paid a full commission and she would have probably came out winning versus now. She is winning, right? She's selling her place. From what she tells me, it's a nice couple, first time, first buy, uh, first time homeowners. She's very happy about that. But I think she's gonna walk away from this experience knowing and when she goes to sell another place, if that ever happens, I don't think she's gonna take the same steps she took this time. Have a good one.